Now, I made a video last week actually taking a look at footballers' houses, all right? That's right, footballers' actual houses. They got money. We all know they got money. So, we took, we took a little look. Now, the situation is more people were actually interested in footballers' cars, all right? You know, the little wagons or whatever. More people are interested in that. So, I'm here today with, obviously, the footballers' car episode. Of course, we're going to take a look at the best cars in football, okay? The big players earning big money, obviously got big cars. Now, a really popular episode I always bring out, okay, is footballers' wives. So, if you guys want to see best footballers' wives, drop a like in the Thumbs up down below. Can we get 3,000 likes on this video? Come on, lads. We can do it. We can do it, lads. I'm, I'm, I'm pumped. Now, we're going to start big for the first player, okay? We're going to start big. I almost wanted to stand up at the edge of my seat and just show you this because this is insane, all right? We have a Yang's gold Lamborghini, lads. That's right. He's had a wrapped gold. It's pretty sick. Now, believe it or not, before the Lambo, he actually had a gold Audi R8, okay? But this time, he's thought, I'm going to upgrade, boys. I'm going to keep the gold, but I'm going to get myself a Lamborghini, which he's done. It's looking pretty fine, if I do say so myself. Now, look at this, okay? Okay. Before he had the Audi R8, he actually had a Porsche Cayenne, I believe, a Porsche Carrera or something like that, which was also gold. So he likes his gold. He's had three cars that are gold and he's gone up and up and up. So he's had a Porsche, then Audi R8, and then he's got a Lamborghini now. This is one of my favorite footballers' cards, lads. It's pretty insane. One thing, guys, if you guys don't remember last week, I actually talked about the Tops Kick Europa Road to Glory. Now that went pretty well. A lot of you guys actually joined me over there and entered the contest. Now, what we've got to do this week is one for the Champions League, of course, which is, of course, this week. Week is big as well. Now, the first things first, if you don't have top, then obviously there'll be a link in the top of the description down below. Go over there, download it. iOS, absolutely free of charge. Costs you nothing to download it, not a single penny. Now, because it's Champions League, what I need to do is open a few Champions League packs, okay? Because I need to try and get a few of the Champions League players, of course, they're still in the competition, and try and get points off them. So, you know, I'm looking for the Real Madrid players, Atletico players, potentially. If they can make that comeback against Real Madrid, that's what I want to try and get, you know. Are players like Griezmann going to step up and earn me points? We'll have to wait and see. A Monaco gonna do it, okay? Our Monaco gonna come back against Juve. I definitely need a few Juve players because they are guaranteed to get me a few points. So I've opened a few Champions League um, packs, as you guys can see on the screen here, and got quite a few players for them. So what I'm gonna do now is go over to the, obviously, Champions League Road to Glory. So click contest at the bottom of your screen. Go over to Champions League Road to Glory. Now what you're gonna wanna do is put the players, okay, that are still in the competition to try and earn the maximum points. So I'm obviously gonna put quite a few players that obviously Juve, Monaco, Real Madrid, Atletico players only. It's no point putting Bayern Munich players or anything like that. Yeah, I've packed a few, but, you know, you're not going to get points from them. Now, if you're confident you can beat me, there are prizes to be won, coins, packs, you name it, on Tops Kick. All you need to do is go over to the description down below, download Tops, get a few packs or whatever, get a few Champions League players, enter this contest, and it'll be up against me. And if you beat me and beat my points, which I'll be publishing, I'll probably do it in the comments this week of this video, okay? So check out, keep coming back to this video, checking out the comments. If you beat my points, show me a bit of proof, mate. I could be giving you a little prize, a little bit of an extra bonus gift. Now, another one, okay, for the second player, of course, we've got a pretty good car once again. Again, of course, they're all, all going to be good, aren't they? We've got Raheem Sterling's Audi S6, all right? This is pretty good. I like it, mate. It's in matte black, matte black alloys. He's had a blacked out Audi badge at the front. It's pretty insane. So I'm not just going to feature really flashy colours and all these cars and stuff. I'm actually going to take a look at and appreciate a good car. And an Audi S6, mate, is a pretty good car. And it's in matte black too. He's had a good job done on it. Now, this is a serious car, of course. Now, we're going to move on to a third player now, of course, with another good car. Once again, another good car. We have got Sully Mon Montari's, I need to just step back from this. Sully Montari's insane 6x6 AMG G63. Okay, this is an insane car. This is going to be like the biggest car you're going to see in this episode. Now, this guy obviously got a lot of respect this week for his like anti racism stuff. Like, some fan was abusing him. He gave him his shirt. It's like, you know, just be nice or whatever. His ban was overturned, which is good to see. But he's also got a good car off the pitch as well. You know, it's a good car, mate, when it's got six wheels. All right, you know, it's a serious, serious, serious wagon when it's got six wheels and it's a Mercedes AMG too so it's just huge. Now I don't know how much these are worth actually so I'm going to Google. If I can't really find out how much they're worth what I'm going to say six figures easily that is got to be the biggest car you're going to see in this episode. Now potentially the most expensive car maybe the most you know highly profiled brand out there not just Ronaldo but his actual car which is a Bugatti okay and that's a serious serious car. Now apparently according to this article okay Ronaldo's actually selling his Bugatti and apparently it's surprisingly affordable. What does that mean? Apparently Ronaldo's current fleet of cars is worth almost Five million pounds, okay? So he's got five million pounds worth of cars, and this Bugatti is just one of his like ten cars. He doesn't even know. If you guys remember the Jonathan Ross interview we did a few years ago, he actually was asked how many cars you have. He doesn't even know, mate. He doesn't 
don't even know. Okay, I was wrong. Ronaldo's Bugatti is not for sale, mate. It was actually his first car, which was an Audi when he was at Man United. It's on sale for 13 grand. So if you've got 13 grand kicking about, you can own Ronaldo's first ever car. Now, another teammate with an insane car is, of course, Benzema. Okay, Ronaldo's teammate, he's actually got a Bugatti too. But why I've featured this one is because actually it's in chrome. He's had it wrapped chrome or whatever. That's right, we've seen a gr like chrome gold wrap and Lamborghini. We've seen some matte black wraps or whatever. Now we've got a chrome one on an actual Bugatti as well. So this is serious. It's like one of the best cars in the world, wrapped chrome. Now, obviously, Bugattis can be worth like a million. They can be worth two million. They can be worth 800 grand, 700 grand. I don't really know how much this one, this particular one, is worth. If you got any car experts watching me, let me know. All I know is it's bloody awesome. Last but not least, the rival of them all, okay? Well, rival of Ronaldo, basically. One and only Messi's white Maserati, okay? We haven't featured a Maserati yet in this episode, so I thought it was only fair to do. And because Messi's one of the biggest, or if not the biggest player in the world, we've got a pretty good car, too. Well, he's got a few cars, we know that. Now, this car is one of the cleanest in the whole episode, okay? It's also one of the nicest, too. One of the most, one of the most, you know, basically, I'd pick it. Is it all right? I'd pick any of these cars, but this would be up there for one I'd pick the most likely. Anyway, guys, that has been a pretty interesting episode where we're taking a look at the players, well, footballers' best cars out there. If you guys have enjoyed it, drop a like and a thumbs up down below. If you want to see best wives, best wags, you name it, drop a like and a thumbs up down below. I'm out, guys. Take it easy. Have a good day. Peace.